so we're looking at reflections in the line y equals x and y equals negative x. So I've already got a little picture here for you. This is y equals x. And I'm going to reflect this object in that. And you can see it flips over and it becomes this image here. Now, let's draw in some points and you'll start to notice something, I think. So 6, 1 is that point L here. And L dash is 1, 6. K is 4, 2. And K dash is 2, 4. And J is 5, 4. And J dash is 4, 5. So obviously the X and the Y coordinates are swapping when we reflect in, um, in Y equals X. Now, how can we do that using a matrix? So the question boils down to what transformation matrix can I multiply an object by to get an image that swaps the X and Y coordinates? Now, the identity matrix, the one that keeps the X coordinate and Y coordinate the same, is 1, 0, 0. That would result in something like that. If I swap those, 0, 1, 1, 0, and I run through my multiplication, I'll get 0 times X plus 1 times Y. That's going to give me Y. And I'd get 1 times X plus 0 times Y which is um, x. So this one here will reflect in y equals x. So what about if we're reflecting something in y equals negative x? Well, you should probably try drawing in those points yourself and coming to a conclusion. Uh, I'm just going to do it now, but you should try it first. All right, so it's pretty obvious here. 0.61 becomes negative 1, negative 6. So not only are the X and Y coordinates swapping, but they're moving from positive to negative or negative to positive. So we can write the same kind of thing as this with a small difference. So it's going to be 0, negative 1, negative 1, 0. That's going to have the effect of swapping the X and Y coordinates, but also changing their sign from negative to positive or positive to negative. So that's reflecting in the line Y equals X, and that's reflecting in the line Y equals negative X.